Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about my July favorites. All month long I kept feeling like, oh I have so many favorites, I have so many new favorites this month. And now that I have them all gathered up here, it seems like just the same amount that I usually have. I think part of it is because a lot of these are new products. I do have some rediscovered favorites. I always like to cycle through my makeup collection. I have quite a lot and I'm always on the lookout not only for new things that are being released you know in stores online but I'm also always looking out for some forgotten gems. So my monthly favorites videos are always a mix of rediscovered old favorites and new products. There are a lot of new things this month I will say. I did test and review a lot of really really great new products this month. I also have a few favorite product combos but let's start with a rediscovered favorite. This is a brush from e.l.f. I don't know if I'm going to show you a close-up of it because it's pretty dirty. This is the Flawless Concealer Brush. Don't get me wrong, I still love my damp sponge. I still love especially my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Blending Sponge. I'm also a big fan of the Real Techniques one. But because I've been doing such a minimal base product routine lately, really only just putting on some tinted moisturizer and then a few swipes of concealer. So this has really just upped my lazy girl makeup application game because I literally just rub in tinted moisturizer with my fingers, put on a couple of dots of concealer under my eyes and kind of in the center of my face and then I just quickly dab it out with this brush and that's all I've been doing. Especially because where I live it's really 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 humid right now so I'm not missing that extra moisturizing step that I get from using a damp sponge. I'm sure that once the weather turns colder, I will be running with open arms back to the damp sponge. But right now, this has been my ultimate lazy girl makeup hack and I couldn't have spent more than a few dollars on this brush. I hope they still make it because I have had this for a while, but if you need a lazy makeup hack, here it is. Okay, let's talk about my favorite nail combo. It is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. Forgive me, I'm going to show you the close-up, but I have been wearing these nails for so long <laughs> that they're kind of chipped and I've kind of just like tried to repair the ends here and there. But this nail combo, what a surprise, it's from Triple O Polish. <laughs> One of my all-time favorite nail polish brands. I know I talk about them all the time. This combo is such a gorgeous lemon-lime type of color. I first did one coat of this really deep mustard yellow. It's almost like an olive undertone yellow called Mopti. And then I go over with two layers of this gorgeous shifting golden green shade. This one's Kansala. This is one of my favorite triple O polish colors. I love both of these, but together they just look so fun. They give me these really shimmery lemon lime nails. And this nail color was definitely inspired by a shade from a palette that we're gonna talk about when we get to my favorite palettes. I do have three favorite palettes this month, but that's my favorite nail combo. And these have lasted forever. I mean, like I said, this is the chipped up and touched up version of my nails, and I still think they look pretty stinking good. Let's talk about cheek products. I have three cheek products, but first I wanna tell you about this combo. These two products work so well together. This is Casually Sweaty Cheek Dreams. I start with the very controversial Cheek Dew Serum Blush from Colourpop in the shade Kiss Kiss. This is my favorite. I really really like these. This is a type of product that people either love it or they hate it. I am in the love it camp. This just looks so 
pretty and juicy and like sweaty on my cheeks which is the look that I am almost always going for so I just take a little dollop of this serum blush blend it all over my cheek these blend so quickly and easily for me I absolutely love this shade then I've been taking this super shock cheek in the shade chiffon and just sort of quickly dabbing my fingers in and then kind of pressing on top of that cheek do blush it just gives a little reflective shine but because it's more pink based it looks like a shimmery blush on me this combo just looks so glowy and so casually sweaty and just so flushed and pretty and shiny and I love it I love it I love how juicy my cheeks look when I wear these two now if I really want to take it up another notch, which I often do because I love wearing way too many cheek products. It's kind of my vibe. I have been such a huge fan of this M Cosmetics Moonbeam Cushion Highlighter. Now, I don't use the little puff. As you can see, mine is still pristine. I just literally go in with my finger and dab on top. I'm not wearing the other two cheek products today because I've been testing out a NARS blush palette, but I did put some of this on top. I love the way that this looks. It gives me such a beautiful ethereal glow. It's just the perfect balance between a really bright shiny highlighter and a really soft lit from within type of highlighter. This is squarely in the middle. It just looks so nice and so flattering. It's really easy. I use the shade Aura, but there are I think three or four other colors. I do have a review video where I hauled this and tried it on for the first time. Pretty sure I've worn it every single day since I filmed that video. Now let's talk lips. I have two favorite lip products of the month. One is an old rediscovered favorite. Not even really rediscovered because I pretty much constantly use this. I will probably finish this off soon. This one's from NARS. It's the Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Orgasm. I just featured this not too long ago in my favorite pink lip colors video. As you can see, I have quite well worn this down. This is such an easy, comfy, go-to little glowy pink lip look. It looks good no matter what kind of makeup I'm wearing, even if I'm not wearing any makeup, like just skincare, just sunscreen, mascara, and this. It looks cute with a full dramatic blue-purple eye. It looks cute. I'm a big fan of tinted lip balms and lip oils, so not really a surprise that I love this one, but I have been reaching for this a lot this month. And we also have a new formula, a new lip favorite this month. This is the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain from ColourPop. I did do a whole swatch and review video with this whole line when it launched, so I'll link that below if I remember. <laughs> if you want to hear more about this, I am crazy about this formula. It's so comfortable. This is my favorite color, the shade Sugar Snap. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It is so natural, so beautiful. It lasts for a really, really, really long time. It just looks good. It feels good. It actually reminds me of a less opaque version of the Revlon Satin Ink lip colors, which are another huge hit for me this year. It's not quite as opaque. It does wear off throughout the day to be more of a lip stain, whereas the satin inks just stay in place all day. But it's a similar sort of vibe, and I really, really like this. I think all the colors are pretty. This is the one that I've been reaching for and wearing the most, and I cannot get enough of it. These are so good. These are so, so good. Three favorite palettes this month. I really try to only pick one or maybe two, but I cannot, I can't narrow down any of these. I love all of these palettes so much. I can't get enough of them. First of all, the Passion in Paris palette from BH Cosmetics. This is one of their latest travel series releases. I just released a little swatch and review video with this. I'm wearing it today. I love it. It's so pretty. It's interesting. I won't go over all the reasons why I love it because, like I said, I literally just made a video where I raved about this, but the formula, the color story, everything is just, it's working for me. It's impeccable. I love it. I love it. This is for sure a contender for the best palettes of 2021. Spoiler alert. Another one that I have 
pretty recently reviewed. I'm talking about this Lethal is Dead palette. It's the collaboration between Teresa is Dead and Lethal Cosmetics. And I am talking about this one second for a reason because this palette works well with both of the others that I'm going to talk about. It pairs really nicely to sort of warm up and brighten up the Passion in Paris palette and it can also work really nicely with the last palette I'm going to talk about. I also gave this a rave review and you know full disclosure Teresa the collaborator is my friend but I love the color story in here. The Lethal Cosmetics formula is so incredibly good. They definitely make some of the best eyeshadows in the game especially their brighter colors which can be a little bit more tricky formula wise. This is so fun. It's just a great mix of colors. It's really inspiring. I love mixing these colors and formulas and I've also enjoyed using this in conjunction with other palettes to sort of bring a little bit of zing, a little bit of zest to some other palettes. I'll try my best again not to talk too long about why I love these palettes since I did that in entire videos previously. I think this is sold out but available for pre-order. I'm not sure I haven't checked up on it in the last couple of weeks. Highly recommend if you can get your hands on it. Such a fun and fantastically formulated palette. Now the last one that we're going to talk about also plays really well with the Lethal is Dead palette and a shade in this palette is what inspired my Lemon Lime Nails. This is probably kind of a curveball, but it's the ColourPop Lush Life palette. I have recently come to the realization that I actually do really like green eyeshadow. I know I've been enjoying it and wearing it all year and I've been in denial, but this palette, I, uh, I can't deny it anymore. Every single thing about this palette makes me so happy. I love the packaging. I love the colors. I love the mix of finishes and tones. This shade here called It's Paradise inspired my lemon lime nails. So as you can see, I've got a similar vibe to that eyeshadow. In my opinion, this Lush Life palette is one of the best, most interesting, most well-rounded color stories that ColourPop has done so far this year. I would put this up with Limoncello, which is another one of my favorites from the year, as some of ColourPop's recent best. And that's me talking. And there's a, there's a lot of little blue and green moments in here, and I have historically not been much of a blue and green girl, but this is one of the palettes that helped turn the tides on that opinion for me. And I can't deny, it's really fun, it's well done, it's just pretty and bold and like a happy summery vibe. So Lush Life palette is my third and final favorite palette of the month of July. That wraps up my favorite products from this month. Now's the time when I want to hear from you. What were your favorite products this month? Do you have any favorite combos? Anything at all that you enjoyed this month, whether it's snacks or shows or books or skincare or it doesn't just have to be makeup, just whatever you're into. I always love to hear what you think about things too and what you're enjoying. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Off to a great start, don't worry, it's fine. What was I saying? Hello, is this thing on? Go check out Chip 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 the struggle is real. Hmm. 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 Coffee. 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 Look how pretty this moonstone is. Can you tell? I love moonstone. It's definitely my favorite. I'm also wearing a really, really cool strand of rainbow tourmaline. Anyway, sorry. Gemstone tour. <laughs> um. All right. About his. I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Help. This eyeshadow was like, is it blue? Is it purple? Is it both? Is it neither? It's a mystery. The drama. Okay, anyway. It's a X and <laughs> well, What? I'm sure that I'm gonna get some people asking what my favorite book was. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I did not finish a book this month. Sometimes when I get in like an anxiety mental space, it's hard for me 
to read. I don't know why, it's just like too daunting to pick up a book. So all I've been doing is binge watching old episodes of Try Guys Without a Recipe <laughs> to fall asleep. I am about to finish a book and I have a new Jasmine Guillory book that I'm really excited to read next. So hopefully I will have lots of good reading recommendations for you next month. I just don't have any. If I did give you a book recommendation right now it would be go buy the new Jasmine Guillory book and then we can read it together and talk about it in August. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I definitely need some more coffee. You know what I do need is some water. Drink some water. I'm gonna go have some something yummy to eat, have some water, and just live my best hydrated life. After I finish my coffee, of course. I mean, let's not get crazy. Filming this early in the day, which is not even that early. Anytime I start filming before noon, that's early, okay? I hope you have a fantastic day, and if you don't have a fantastic day, then I hope that tomorrow's better. It's okay, you know, they can't all be winners. Everybody has rough days. You're doing your best. You're not doing anything wrong. You're just hanging there. Happy that you brought your face here, and, you know, thanks. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for bringing that beautiful little face to the channel, and I love your face so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, okay, bye.